Appointment, I think, but I'm not sure. What's the name? Rosie Ellison. Okay. Um. Ah, yes. So you'll be with Dr. Gobbledygook at five to fourteen forty-five. It's just through that door to your right. Then take another right, a left, two lefts, a right, a right, and a right. It'll be just behind you. Uh, there may be a bit of a wait, I'm afraid, around one thousand eight hundred seconds or so. But we'll try and see you as soon as we can. Who's next? <laughs> And you say you've been feeling quite tired recently. Yeah, a bit. Mostly in the evening, so I don't know if it's just... Well, I don't think there's anything to worry about, but I would like to try you on some new medication. Right, OK. Just a precaution. See if you respond differently. So, you want to take these every 85 hours, two times a week for the next month and a half, and these four times every three days for the next two weeks, unless it's a bank holiday. No, no, no. Sorry. Stop. Can you just go back? I'm just not following. Of course, of course. I understand this can all be a little confusing at first. I'll try not to go too fast. But really, once you've got the hang of it, it's as easy as ABC. C-A-B. B-B. A-B-C. C-B-A-B-B. So, you'll take these every three to four to five days, and these every four to five to six days, unless it's a day that ends in Y, because that can be quite dangerous. My name's Alison Conyers, the lead professional for learning disabilities and autism in Leeds Teaching Hospitals. We estimate that there are 7,000 autistic people in Leeds and 15,000 people with a learning disability. Combined, these people contact our services thousands of times a year. Leeds Teaching Hospitals' aim is to be the best for patient safety, quality and experience. Please consider each patient's individual needs, bearing in mind they may have a hidden disability. Under the Equality Act, we are all required to make reasonable adjustments. We know that with the right reasonable adjustments in place, we can reduce health inequality, non-attendance and length of stay. We will improve patient outcomes. Here are some examples of reasonable adjustments that we can make, presented by volunteers with a learning disability and or autism. Ask me what time every month, month. Please make sure I can get to my appointment. Give me enough time. Please offer my appointment on time or tell me what is happening. Be clearly and use simple words. Think about what I can understand and tell you. Let me bring a carer, friend or family member with me. Give me easy read information. Please give me a quiet place to work. Please bring my hospital For further advice and support, Look on the Leeds Teaching Hospital's intranet pages or contact the Learning Disability and Autism team.